What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Lewis. So, back here again for another video. Message. We've got a video uploaded by New Rock Stars. This is Thor Love and Thunder trailer breakdown, Easter eggs, and details you missed. <sighs> Finally, it's here. You know what I'm saying? I saw that he said he was going to release this uh, tomorrow. I saw his reaction. So, I've been looking forward to it. And it's later on uh, in the night of the next day or whatever from when the trailer is released. Anyways, though, this is a 20 something minute long video. So, I'm not going to talk too much. We're about to get straight to it because. It was a really, really, really short teaser, but I feel like it's a lot of stuff, I guess, um, EA Boss is about to go over with that little one minute and 30 second clip. So, before we get into it, or teaser, whatever, not clip, but teaser. But anyways, though, before we get into it, y'all let me know down below in the comment, how was your day? Hopefully it was pretty good, but if it wasn't, hopefully this makes it just a little bit better. Let's get it, man, let's go. Eric Boss, New Rock Stars, Thor Love and Thunder. And this is a breakdown for the trailer for Thor Love and Thunder, which yes, gets us indeed. so lost in Chris Hemsworth's eyes like the blue is sky. I saw a, a, a reactor mention this. Why is it that his right eye, which is the one Rocket gave him, right? The um it was brown when he gave it to him in Infinity War. And then now it's like bluish. It's like a blue color. Why is that? Unless maybe he's like channel channeling like the lightning or something or, or his powers and maybe just it takes over. I don't know. I, may, I don't know. Explain that to me. Guys, and it's a bit easy to miss the love and the thunder, which I assume <laughs> are what Thor's sweet child named her biceps. There's so <laughs> many cool details hidden in this trailer, so let's it's pretty push visually those nice to the nice show too. and break down Fun this show. frame by frame. I and like that shirt. And true bill for sponsoring today's video. More on them later. Let's go. Someone's like, that didn't look like Chris Hemsworth running. <laughs> Peace. Peace. Honor. Justice. I need to figure out exactly who I am. All right, we open on Thor sprinting through the eras of his life, and I'm pretty sure his youngest self was actually played by one of Chris Hemsworth's real life sons, the twins Tristan and Sasha. Oh, we get really? them in there. And I think this imagery mirrors the journey of Forrest Gump, a running uh... rambler who stumbles through war zones and prize <laughs> matches and boats until turning into a bearded trucker hat wearing Zen Master. Wow. Just trying to Got away. Women now with health conditions. I may not be a smart avenge <laughs> Jane, but I know what love and thunder is. <laughs> now the second thing good impression. shows his teenage self wearing Thor's classic costume from the Jack Kirby yeah, comics. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Helmet, the blue pants, yellow mm -hmm. boots. The montage is with Thor surrounded by flames, representing his home of Asgard being burned by Surtur in Ragnarok. Now the right. final shot of the trailer shows Thor in the same fur collar. I'm assuming this is new Asgard, Tonsberg burning down, making this the second oh. time. Oh, Thor no. is to watch an Asgard burn, but you know, it's not a place not of people. Asgard. From these ashes, we cut to a symbol of new beginnings. Thor planting a tree, except this is more than a tree. It's the Storm handle Breaker. of Stormbreaker, right. those runes on the blade, or Stormbreaker. Remember, Stormbreaker's uh. handle was made from the tree branch arm of Groot in Infinity War. Now, once that arm was severed, it ceased to be part of Groot, thus why it did not dust along with him in Thanos' snap. But years ago, gotcha. I discussed the theory that Thor might replant the handle of Stormbreaker to regrow the Yggdrasil so world's tree after it burned in Ragnarok, which might be what Vin Diesel was referring to in that 2020 interview with comicbook.com Alpha when Groot. He described Groot's return in Love and Thunder as, quote, Alpha Groot. Of course, Whoa. Thor's gardening here calls back Thanos' move after retiring at the end of his conquests when he tilled the soil as he watched the sun rise on the Grateful Universe. But in Thor's case here, I should say suns, because this planet ain't Earth, as in the sky behind him is a massive sun, oh, and then two other planets snap. are moons to its upper left, and then a blue glowing celestial body, another light source behind the tree, and then a ringed planet in the upper right corner. And I am assuming Love and Thunder I've never will seen that. To us I that noticed that. One of the nine realms we have yet to see in the MCU, Alfheim, home of the Light Elves. Not of Alf, even though he is canon in Marvel Comics lore. Notice what? The scar over Thor's right eye, that's from right. when Hela sliced out his eye in Ragnarok. It's right. come a long way in healing, and now both his eyes are bright blue. Unless he regrown it. Bluer than they were before. Like his and eye his came back. right eye has been replaced since Endgame. Perhaps oh, that okay. could be why he went to Alfheim, using the Light Elves' magic to heal himself, both physically and based on this Don uh... Draper meditation pose here, spiritually as well. Now, the music of this trailer is Guns N' Roses' Sweet Child, Oh, oh My, which has lyrics referencing eyes like the bluest skies and childhood memories where everything was as fresh as a bright blue sky. Axel Rose wrote these lyrics for girlfriend Erin Everly, daughter of Don Everly of the Everly Brothers, whose song All I Have to Do is Dream. 
just appeared in a recent promo for Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Multiverse of Madness does seem like a story about parenting, love and thunder, a story about being sweet children of the gods. Now, of course, my favorite cover of this Guns N' Roses song is the a cappella rendition from Step Brothers with Adam Scott and Catherine Hahn. So let's go. Oh, I watched this movie like a couple months ago for the first time. <laughs> it's pretty funny, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I watch any Will Ferrell movie. Like, there's certain actors, like, if they're in certain movies, I'm just like, okay, I'll watch it. You know what I'm saying? He's one of them. This is $1,200 a week for voice lessons, and this is what I get? Okay, I'm gonna save it with the song. Dang. I must think Agatha Harkness for singing the key lyric right. for this trailer. Oh, yeah, that is Agatha. Thunder in the rain to quietly pass me by. Thor is the god of thunder, but he's right. literally burying the hatchet, praying not for thunder to empower him, but to pass Peace. him by. Because I think the thunder of love and thunder is truly gonna be brought by the villain, Gore the God Butcher. And the right. sweet child of mine of the song is actually Gore's child and wife who were killed after he prayed for the thunder and the rain to pass them by, but those prayers were left unanswered. And I just find it interesting that this trailer, in short of Guns N' Roses' dark, aggressive shift in the song from the ballad to the where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go now? As if the darkest is still yet, yet to, to come. come. Enough of me singing, let's move on. All right, All right we see the workout montage yeah. showing how Thor lost that weight from Endgame. <laughs> trucker hat that reads strongest, strongest avenger. avenger a call back to the running joke of him considering right. himself the strongest avenger over hulk and ragnarok Force right. activation required strongest, strongest avenger. avenger access denied welcome strongest avenger uh what also when he <laughs> considers himself the strongest avenger in game i'm the strongest avenger okay so this responsibility falls upon me but my favorite detail right. about this hat is the fact that thor used a sharpie to write this over a different hat that said something else because it looks oh. like the hat originally said the mightiest avengers but he wrote strong over mighty and then traced over the est in black so it would look less weird and then he just said Got screw you. it and scribbled out the s of avengers so it would just be <laughs> only one avenger himself actually Thor's whole avenger. look here is modeled on vincent d'onofrio's look in avengers of babysitting when he played the mechanic dawson whom the girl sarah obsessed with thor comics thinks is thor an awesome that's scene of that vincent d'onofrio oh, wow. oh thor mighty god of thunder <laughs> who is this kid Oh my Don't god. <laughs> so Thor's doing the mess off with these chains from a giant skeleton. You embarrassed me. This could be another one of the native Illyrian dwarves. Like ah, a okay. prisoner who was left to rot after Thanos slaughtered them. But that skull has an odd shape to right, it. Not like exactly humanoid. So this might just be another apish god almost? Gore has killed. Oh. And based on this poor guy being left in chains, maybe this is someone Gore tortured first. So Thor uncloaks his new bod. And he's yeah. wearing a white tank and a red vest and tight blue pants. Actually looking a lot like Kurt Russell in Big Trouble Little China. <laughs> A bit ironic for Ego's son, Peter Quill, to roll his eyes here. It actually, right. looks like Thor might have stolen some of Peter Quill's clothes. And as I pointed out <laughs> in the past video, the shirt that he's wearing may depict Yeager Silk connecting the nine realms. Now, they're okay. saving this planet populated by these blue skinned locals. I think this actually might be Centauri 4. Yeah, as I was say, not Yondu, Which would make this the Zatoan tribe. In Eternals, gotcha. we learned that one of the past planets that they helped destroy was called Centauri 6. Everyone in Centauri 6 is going to die. Now, it's spelled a bit different. Centauri versus Centauri, but in the Thor comics, Centauri 6 is part of the same Alpha Centauri star system as Centauri 4. Whoa. So I'm wondering if Gore the God, which is the of the gods, might have began because he comes from that Centauri 6 planet that was destroyed in order to birth a celestial, a god, a hatching that killed his wife and child while he was ah. in the which would make him so angry that he must now kill all the gods of the cosmic hierarchy and everyone related to them, including Asgardians like Thor and Valkyrie and sons of celestials like Peter Quill. And it could be on this I don't know if Peter really four, counts Thor anymore. And the Guardians learn the story from what of I hear. A nearby planet named Centauri 6 in their system with one very pissed off sole survivor. And then we get this full Guardians of the Galaxy charge with teenage Groot, who's actually been filling oh. out more. There's more greenery on his head than Nebula, right. Mantis, Quill, Kraglin is there wearing hey, Yaka Arrow got thin, as he did in the Guardians Volume 2 post credit uh -huh. scene. And then Rocket, and then I assume Drax on the far right. Probably. But no Gamora, we should note, after the endgame final battle. Ah, and Quill course. bringing her up on a screen in that final scene, they still have not found that variant Gamora from 2014. The Guardians end up leaving behind Thor and Korg on a planet that looks like Sakaar as they pilot the Benatar through that hexagonal universal Does. neural teleportation network grid. More Jeff Goldblum? I'm super excited that they're returning here because this might be where they can meet up with Beta Ray Bill, the Corbinite past champion of oh, Sakaar. Oh, yeah. And the way they frame this shot, weird empty space on the left beside Thor, just really looks... People are saying apparently Hercules is like taken or removed out of the scene right here. I don't know. 
That'd be really cool though if it is. It's like the shot was framed for three characters and maybe right. Beta Ray Bill or someone else might have been digitally removed from this trailer. You'll notice how Cork has a new look, some colorful pants. Oh yeah. And a belt buckle <laughs> in the shape of a goat head. I'm right. wondering if he might now work at New Asgard, which is now a tourism theme park as the herder of Thor's goats. So we take mm. a tour of New Asgard and compared to the colony it was an end game, the structures have evolved from the sleepy town of Tonsberg, Norway to some yeah. taller curved golden structures like the old Asgard had. So either there's starting to truly rebuild what they once had or they might just be making a disney version of it to attract tourists or they oh, might be doing both we see maybe. a flying boat departing the ports carted by thor's ghosts. ghosts these are named this teeth and grinder this. and not Nashua even gonna bother something. trying to pronounce it but they mean teeth bearer and teeth grinder yeah, in norse yeah. mythology they are thor's companions they pull his chariot across the sky and they're wonderful i'm so glad they're in this movie on this boat you can see valkyrie and korg and then up front two others it looks like thor maybe jane with them there and i love oh, it okay. there's a neon sign reading cocktails and dreams which is the name of the bar that tom cruise works at at the end of the 1988 movie cocktail the 80s gotcha. references are everywhere and i'm loving it now if you're keeping your fingers crossed that the beanie baby collection in your mom's attic is going to regain its value and all of your money slick with it i i almost i almost didn't notice it man i almost didn't notice it man new rock stars they got this glorious shot of olympus a realm yeah, similar cool. to asgard in the marvel comics but the home of zeus and aphrodite all the other greek gods the design aries mercury autumn like asgard the landmass is suspended in not space mercury with but hermes gravity water just spilling in the mist here from these roman style aqueducts that snake through all the structures in the lower left it looks like it's open space and stars out there so who knows this could all be suspended inside of another part of a dead celestial like nowhere's headless body because the sword be carried cool. by gore in this movie is the same weapon that in the marvel comics lore beheaded nowhere so this movie may confirm that history You'll notice a uh -huh. pink purple streak meteors through this Olympus space. Maybe Thor and his friends arriving, or maybe this is an attack from Gore. Taika Waititi embraces his Our Flag Means Death vibes with Thor on a pirate ship as a woman swings over to embrace him, looking like it's the cover of a switch, romance switch. novel. If this is the same setting as the tree meditation shot earlier, this might be a light elf of Alfheim. Notice how the ship behind him is being smothered by a kraken. Oh, snap. Gargantos. Could it just be its, its, own, its own thing? I didn't maybe. notice that. Then the Viking ship sails toward this planet that I thought was Earth, but if you look closely at the surface, it looks like it might be in the process of freezing over. Thought it was just a sunrise light hitting the clouds, but mm -hmm. it does look like it's streaking through its atmosphere yeah. faster than the planet is rotating toward its sun. Yeah. Thor stands with a bow with Stormbreaker streaking forward. Since Stormbreaker, remember, has the powers of the Bifrost. This is how they're traveling through these wormholes in space. Then lightning streams through the Hall of Olympus, all this goofy acrobatic display with pointed lightning bolt ends up until they are caught as one goofy looking bolt by Zeus. Goofy looking Later, Bolt. <laughs> At his side are two goddesses, perhaps Hera and Aphrodite, or maybe yeah. one of his many mistresses, because this is Zeus. All he does is f***ing ruin lives. Across the Dang. hall are other gods applauding. It looks like the stands are arranged in boxes, with one larger brightly colored god or goddess in the center, and then their minions or sub-deities surrounding them. I mm -hmm. assume among these are going to be Ares, who cameoed in Thor Ragnarok as another past champion of Sakaar, and oh, most likely yeah. Hercules. Zeus Hercules is a major rival to Thor in the comics, yeah. who has a ton of arcs. Let's get Hercules in this movie, please. Please. And yeah, this all does That'd look a bit really cheesy, good. but Dope. I think that's the point. Because we're probably going to see this place just get wrecked by gore in the opening act. Like, I'm sorry if you love Zeus and the other Greek gods in the Marvel comics. I'll just say, don't get too attached. Because Taika Waititi is the same director who killed the Warriors 3 with a flick of Hela's wrist. He did. <laughs> People as the text were of the section reads, mad about not that. Not every god has a plan. Which reflects Thor's aimless post-Avenger life now, but also harkens to Gore's biggest criticism of the gods of the Marvel Universe. They have no plan. They let horrible things happen. They cast judgment without explaining the rules. By the end of this film, I think we will Gore? find ourselves echoing the words of Nick Fury in the comics, who whispered to Thor to make him drop me all near. Gore was right. Yeah, I was just so about to say, side, Gore might be on the same trailer. The corpse of Falagar the Behemoth. This image taken directly from Jason Aaron's mm -hmm. God Butcher storyline artwork by Asad Rimik in Thor God of Thunder number three, when Thor is investigating the deity figures whom Gore has killed. Even the trick of blood coming out of Falgar's nostrils is exactly the same. I don't think we've ever wow. seen a great of the MCU so perfectly so matched comically the accurate. I really can't blame them. The he only difference is this core. The only difference is that Korg now right. joins Thor in that boulder. So now That's Thor crazy. is someone who explain the terrifying significance of Falagar's death. In that comic panel, Thor explains how Falagar was the patron god of the galactic frontier who wrestled black holes just for fun we can also imagine oh my now god the ground level people on a planet in a neighboring star system just for some asshole to punt his black hole into your backyard <laughs> kill 
killed trillions of life forms. Then a new shot of new Asgard shown it from the same angle as when Rocket and Smart Hulk approached the town in Endgame on that winding road. Now the port has filled with several cruise, cruise liners, ships, yeah. including one with the face of Volstag, member of the Warriors 3, abruptly oh. killed off. A van marked New Asgard Tours drives down that road with a logo that features Mjolnir, Mjolnir. on it. Now, it looks like in this movie that there's going to be a mound in this tourism destination that displays the broken pieces of Mjolnir as a key attraction. The earth dug out around it, making a kind of pedestal since people might not be able to move the Uru shards. Kind of like how right. Disneyland has a sword and a stone, and that will be where Jane Foster is empowered as the pieces come back together. Valkyrie now sits at the head of an international summit. The sign in the corner reads, Renewable Energy Conference with art looking like a series of waterfalls that pour into each other maybe showing okay. how the asgardians and the olympians recycle water through their infinity pool water systems that seem impossible but probably work on some kind of asgardian magic currently you'll notice the representative from the united states is standing because that's what we do here we stand so i wonder if asgardian science magic Jeez. that powers their boats and everything else in their lives has become a pretty game-changing energy resource on earth which would if you're still watching the video you might as well go ahead and like the video man you're enjoying it just as much as i am you might as well can also leave a like too I mean, like, and subscribe, you know what I'm saying? Because it's free. Complicate things on oil-dependent countries like the U.S. that needs to protect coal jobs and fracking. But I also like how at this table of international power players, seated in the guest of honors of Valkyrie's left, is New Zealand. I am pretty sure this is at Taika Waititi's insistence. Now remember, in spite uh, of being home, in international news he is from New read, Zealand. political turmoil in New Asgard, this right. could be what that was referring to. Also in the corners gotcha. of this room, notice two armed guards with berets and interesting leg armor. These could be the new Einherjar of New Asgard on Earth. Remember, those are guards that protected Asgard. Now they got a new Terran take on their gear. Now, gotcha. Valkyrie, meanwhile, looks bored on her throne. An office chair Terran. with an Asgardian printing along the back. She's chewing food off some skewer. And above her is a sigil, which I assume will be her variant of Odin's symbol. Maybe turned upside down or something like that. Now to the left, Meek is there wearing a business suit. Meek is back. Cocktails and drinks, baby. But notice that Valkyrie Meek, is sitting right between two doors. Gonna get out here. Wanna come for the men in the women's restrooms but right. right in the middle just some fun framing reflecting how valkyrie is really a character who defies gender norms then another shot of olympus yeah, with a, a huge zeus statue ahead now on that walkway is korg and thor and then another mm. red cape figure i assume jane, jane foster, foster. Yeah. there are statues on the left and the right depicting other gods on the left maybe aphrodite on the right that could be artemis goddess of the hunt on to the ah. next dion hand it over now, how, how many mean? times have I seen this ad, man? <laughs> Not me. What? Just listen. Just listen. All right, we got a better shot of the Guardians here. Quill, yes. Drax, Nebula, Mantis, Rocket, and Groot. And Mantis I didn't even notice Groot in the background. Now, which are connected to her antennae, perhaps a way of amplifying her emotional sensing abilities. Thor oh. is just trying so hard to make Quill love him because all the <laughs> other people he loves in his life are dead when you think about it. He refused to Good break point. eye contact, just like how he stared Peter directly in the eyes on the Benatar at the end of Endgame. And you can see now in the close-up that Thor has regrown his braid that he used to have in the earlier movies or his head was shaved in Ragnarok. And oh. Oh, yeah. Let himself go in Endgame. I love how the title logo has this metallic look to it, like an 80s yeah, rock band, like just metal pieces sliding into thing. place in a diamond shape to form the O, which also reflects the angular text of Norse runes. Then on to the last ah, okay. one. Gene Foster Thor. So they're fighting a new as on new Asgard because there's a car in the background. So the Mjolnir flies into the hand of Jane Foster with right. Natalie Portman returning after Thor. The a lot of people are saying she doesn't even look like Natalie Portman, which she doesn't to me. In this lower half, it does not look like Natalie Portman. Although it may be due to the fact that I mean, look at her; she's gotten quite big. You know what I'm saying? So maybe it's just like her face is filling up or whatever. And, and also the blonde hair might be throwing it off. But yeah. Maybe it's a stunt, a stunt double in this scene, and maybe like it's I don't know. An adaptation of Jason Aaron's Mighty Thor run that follows Jane as a cancer patient. Might just be makeup too. After the case of Gore, but it doesn't look like now important almost. Now powering right. up in a Lady Thor allows Jane to escape her sickness, but whenever she returns to normal, her chemo is reset. It advances. Setting up this fascinating and tragic storyline for yeah. the character. Now, how did this happen? Well, the movie's official description says Jane Foster, who to Thor's surprise, inexplicably wields his magic hammer in the only as the mighty Thor. That suggests that whatever caused this hammer to reforge was some mysterious magic that Thor is not familiar with. Now, it's been right. implied that Infinity Stones left cosmic radiation coursing through the universe, and in the case of Jane Foster, who was possessed by the reality stone Aether, that radiation could have been the cause of her cancer, as well as what now triggers uh... the hammer to reassemble. It's also possible that the multiverse could have caused this reassembly. I was thinking this theory is that maybe it's not... I, I, I 
I it's probably not true, but it potentially could be a Jane Foster from a different uh, multiverse or your universe or whatever. And in fact, after the events of Multiverse of Madness, however that movie ends, surely enough we're going to see like characters potentially like because it's not like a one time thing. Like clearly, other like multiverse type of events are going to take place within the future of the MCU. This could be one of them. This could be Jane Foster, but from like an Earth, like a different universe or something where she's I don't know Thor or she's like already born with the powers or her story's a little different and then she just gains the powers like you know what I'm saying they could they could go thousands of different places with this let's see if he says this stuff like she comes from another universe exactly come from another universe and more will be revealed in a future trailer after right. Doctor Strange and Multiverse of Madness I thought that I, I didn't see no one really talk about that we'll have an in-universe answer like either residual reality stone radiation or some hidden will and testament clause from Frigga or Odin that includes Jane Foster in that worthiness charm like whoever wields this hammer if he be worthy shall possess the, the power, power of Thor. Thor also under clause uh, whoever that current bearer uh, loves the most can can also wield it sometimes <laughs> now, compared to the shot of Hela destroying the hammer in Ragnarok the cracks of Mjolnir are now spread apart with bigger chunks but right. notice how the golden end is facing upward now I think we're looking at the other side of it I just like this look better than a more capillary splintered look because now from a distance you can still make out the individual cracks of that hammer this reveal of natalie portman as lady thor works really well better than i thought it would and honestly marvel studios really needed this to work and they and they totally pulled it off but they used a few interesting visual tricks to do it now yes right. jane is definitely beefed up here okay i was about to say like she looks a little muscle, different but i wouldn't be surprised if they did a, that classic tom holland muscle enhancement there but she does need to be beefed up yet the focus of the shot I is never not on her muscle that. definition her shoulders her traps her neck forearms they're all covered they also cover her face with the helmet all to avoid that uncanny valley effect where we might see natalie portman's iconic face but on a different body which would just kind of oh. us out. instead the focus is on mjolnir a striking unusual image to see it put together again and that is what guides us into the shot and then we move directly from mjolnir to jane's eyes which are locked directly on us. us see there is a narrative to this reveal as opposed to just barfing in a visual effect in a trailer and we get to pull it apart there's a story here our eyes are guided by the emotion of this moment now behind both Jane I like and how you really just broke like the that town down. of New Asgard is being attacked by right. these weird looking dark tentacled creatures and then to the left behind Jane whatever this is is flashing it's like some eating somebody teeth. Gore's weapon all black has some connections to the symbiotes, symbiotes in Marvel lore it was a weapon created by the symbiote no. deity of Null and we did see God in Spider-Man No Way Home that a piece of venom is left in the boundary of the MCU true so could we be looking at some kind of venom creature attacking New Asgard I like, doubt I don't it. know I don't think Venom can appear in an MCU movie yeah. without it being a Sony co-production the way Spider-Man No Way Home was. So I don't know if they'll keep that symbiote backstory. But if you think about it, the way that Dane Whitman's sword, the Ebony Blade, also almost looks shape-shifting yeah. message to it when he reached out to it. That could yeah. be the same way Gore's blade works, making it a kind gotcha. of poison. Not a venom, a poison that rots a target <laughs> from the inside. Not a venom, he had to clarify how that. How we got that chained up skeleton. It could be a poison that thematically parallels the way cancer attacks the body, which would make Jane's conflict with Gore super important and super symbolic for her in this movie. Support right. us by checking out our merch options like That's our Moon Knight shirt. That's interesting. I never heard of that one. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at EA Boss. That's Follow interesting. Rockstar. Subscribe Theory to Rockstars idea. for more analysis of everything you love. Thanks for watching. Bye. All right, shout out new rock stars, man. Shout out to EA Boss for that breakdown, man. It's quite a lengthy one there. I'm not gonna lie. Probably already like 30 minutes long. This video is. Anyways, I'm gonna keep it short, sweet. Um, very looking forward to this movie a lot. Um, a lot of things to be taking place here, and I'm excited as this is the fourth installment of the of the uh, of the uh, Thor series. You know what I'm saying? The only one, the only character of the MCU to get a fourth installment, like movie wise. So I'm very looking, very much <laughs> looking forward to seeing this and seeing what they go with the character of Thor. Thor Odinson, you know what I'm saying? Uh, with that being said, y'all let me know down below in the comments with your thoughts, theories, ideas, and details you may or may not have seen in this video. With that being said, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitch, follow me on YouTube. You can also follow me on Instagram at LeroySSO. Same to YouTube channel. With that being said, peace.